In this video, I want to talk about searching for things in arrays, and also I want to show you some utilities in the arrays uh, utility class. So what we're going to do first is search through an array and find a number. Um, what I have here is an array, and it's an array of integers, and I have some semi-random numbers in here, and we're going to go and try and find a number. What I'm going to try to find is the number one. So there is a very slow, obvious way to do this, and that is you simply loop through the array until you find the one in the array and you get the index position. So let's try that right now. So I'll say int num to find equals one, and I'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than nums.length, i plus plus. And then what I'm going to do is pull out the value. I'm going to say nums i, and that'll be the actual value of the number in the array. And I'll say if val equals equals the num to find, and I'll print it out. So if that's equal, I say we found it at position i. And what we're doing now is we're looping through every single um, piece of this array until we get a match. So let's go ahead and run this. There, we found one at position 7. And the problem is we had to go through 7 iterations until we found this. And you probably won't be surprised to hear that there's a much faster way to do this. And it works with a special search method called a binary search. Um, in a binary search, it, it's it's um, it's interesting, but it depends on a precondition of the array being sorted. So if you can sort your array, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and sort this. And I'm going to use arrays dot sort. And this is just a method on the arrays class. You can sort. Then you can actually use arrays dot binary search to very quickly search. And we'll say we want nums and uh, num to find. And what this should do is return an integer. And then we'll print that out when we're done. And you'll see the position changed as well after we sorted it. So let's let's go ahead and print out the uh, sorted array here. Um, I'm actually going yeah, we'll do print line, but we'll do arrays .to string on the nums. Now you get to see three utility methods on arrays. Okay. So you can see after we sorted it, it's sorted in ascending order from low to high. And this is the precondition for actually using binary search effectively. Okay. So what's actually happening here? Now binary search, what it does, as the name implies, it breaks the array into two and then it splits on subsequently smaller uh, sections of two. And I've got a diagram here to show you from the textbook. Um, so let's say you have an array, starts at 10, ends at 99, you have a bunch of numbers in between fairly randomly, and you're trying to search for the number 18. What binary search does is it immediately breaks the array in half and searches in the middle. So it says we're going to search in the absolute middle of the array first. and is the number that we're searching for higher or less than what we found in the middle? In this case, the middle number is 43. And because 18 is less than 43, now we're going to look in this lower half of the array. So now we broke the array into two and we're only interested in this half. So immediately we're going to go into the middle of that other half of the array and say what's there. And because 37 is greater than 18, we're going to look at the lower half of that array. And now we've only got three numbers left in the array. And we're going to immediately go into the middle of that array and say 18. 
So you can see if we actually had to do this with a loop, we'd, we may have to loop through everything except for the last element if it wasn't sorted because who knows where the 18 would be. And we would possibly go through many iterations before we found what we're searching for. Whereas in a binary search, it only took three steps. And there's an actual formula. The formula is log of n base two, where n is the number of items in the array. Not that you have to know that, but it's just, it's faster than a linear search where linear is just n is the number of uh, items in the array. And then you might have to search through it n times. Um, the, the only trick is that um, your, your array has to be sorted and it turns out that sorting is pretty slow. Sorting is actually much slower than just searching linearly. So it really only makes sense to do um, a binary search if you already happen to have your array sorted. And um, maybe if you want to do it multiple times, if you want to search multiple times, because then your sorting function, you didn't waste all of your time sorting. So this is just a quick example of, um, of how to use a binary search how to use a linear search. This is just kind of a brute force search. Um, and then you have to sort it before you actually use a binary search. So thanks for watching.